All right, good morning. We're back at the Ductwork Drama Store where our box light. There we go. Where we ran that trunk over to a duct there. And we've got a box here and here's the other duct. So we're gonna sever this and we're just gonna, I've got a, a takeoff, 14 inch. So we're gonna put a 14 inch takeoff here. Make this connection and that'll be good. And then we're probably gonna take this super long run and instead of tapping it off at the unit, he's got a manager's office on the other side that is not always temperature controlled well. And so since the unit had been running plus two, right? So the hallway unit was running plus two registers in the kitchen. We we're taking those away. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try leaving one connected and run it into his office so his office gets a little more controlled space so all right so take off attached look at that nice footprint in the box we've got the duct severed already she's gonna come over hit the takeoff and this part of the adventure will be taken care of all right so there's our takeoff uh zip tie underneath obviously to hold everything then tape then i used the uh, actual mastic tape to make sure everything's sealed, sealed. So yeah, she runs over my head, yonder to here. Boom. Now we got kitchen AC right here. Now this duct is still blowing. Uh, it's not conditioned air right now. It's just blowing from the fan. And that's the one we're gonna pull the other way and see if we can't get over the office. That office has a tinier unit. So I'm guessing you're not gonna have 14 inch duct work over there. But let's go see. All right, because I'm assuming you saw the first video, but maybe not. Maybe you just found me. So here's what happened. Thermostat's here. It's in this kitchen. These, that thermostat controls the unit that's right here. And it does all the duct work back here in this prep area. It does all the duct work into this ice cream area. But it did not do these two. The, it was supposed to. But when they put the trunk in here, they ran the trunk and they didn't cut out into the box. So I'm imagining then when the actual skilled person showed up to hang the registers and went, how come I don't have air in the trunk? What's going on? Uh-oh, they tied the two ducts this way into the unit in the hallway. So that, un that register is flexed here to the trunk that runs and is tied in there. And then my box is right here. And then this unit, I put a uh, tie-in, a takeoff there. This unit is just flexed right there. So that's done. Now, so you can get an idea of the dining room. There's one big unit here that services all this, which is great. And then this unit that it was tied into just serves this hallway. So one, two, here's our returns. And it does the bathrooms, which is one in here uh, and one in each bathroom. So literally what? One, two, three, four, five. Plus it was pushing those two and we've never had any trouble. So behind this wall is an office with a little three ton rooftop unit that's super sketchy it's rigged big time to run it's on the chopping block to replace the box to this unit is here and we had two trunks running out so this one was to one duct in the kitchen this was to the other i've capped this this one has 30 foot of duct work that i want to run over the box into the office and see if i can't tie it into one of his to help get him some more fresh air in that let's see what we see in here so there's his office all right there's our look at that this is the most bizarre like they cut holes in all sorts of places and then didn't cut holes in other places uh there's the duct run i've started throwing it over but i think i'm gonna pull it under actually if it'll make that turn because then it's just gonna come straight at me. 
Look at it. This is nice. So we've got this to get in to their office. Scheming where I'm at in the office. Doors right there. So the main uh, workspace is underneath us. That duct right there. I'm scheming getting a capping this off because this was a byproduct this was a last minute thought uh yesterday as i was thinking about this job and picking up materials because instead of capping let's see so you got that one there instead of capping the one that was there i was going to cut that and just loop it in right no sense in buying materials save the customer a couple bucks then i thought well wait a minute why don't i run it over here for him but now I'm thinking that is a great idea, but why don't I actually add a register in there for him? That way he has the flow he's always had plus. Because if I just remove a register and add mine, I'm really not going to be adding a whole lot. Da, da, da. Huh. Let me check his back room because he this this owner is a real unicorn man he keeps everything he is all about investing in redundancy and making sure he doesn't have emergencies and taking care of his guests and his staff and i bet you in his back room we're gonna find a register alas he does not have a register here on site so i closed the damper to that hanging uh let me just fix this tile i closed the damper to the hanging uh duct so that it's not outputting anything and i'll talk with the owner he's got multiple locations and i feel like he's gonna have a damper somewhere or a, a register like that somewhere and if not i'll pick one up so i'm in and out of this location a lot there's lots of things going on here and like i said this owner is very good about keeping on top of stuff so another to be continued kind of i mean we're the original thing we're here to do is done the kitchen ac ducting is set and both trunks are capped off we could be absolutely done 